Hey everyone, Treasure again with our 3D animation course in Blender. In this chapter, we're finally going to go into our 3D software of choice, Blender, and we're going to be showing you how to install it on your system. Also, please make sure to join our WhatsApp channel to access the course files for our lessons. If you notice that somewhere along the line, your system doesn't really meet the requirements, don't worry, stay till the end. I will have some tips on what you can do about it. So, please watch. Let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 1 of our Blender 3D animation crash course. In this video, we will be talking about how to install Blender. I have made this a separate video from the main tutorial so that those who already have Blender installed don't have to wait around for us installing Blender. I can just jump straight into the meat of the tutorial. So if you already have Blender installed, you can jump straight into the next video. But for those who don't know how to install Blender, this tutorial Tutorial is for you. We're going to go over where to download Blender, how to install Blender, what are the system requirements, and if your system does not meet the system requirements, I also have some recommendations for you. So, what are the system requirements for Blender? 3D softwares in general are pretty beefy. Luckily for us, Blender is one of the less beefy ones. However, if you are going to be running the latest versions of Blender, I would recommend that you have 8GB of RAM, a Core i5 CPU, and most importantly, a graphics card. This is the most important part of your computer for any 3D software. You must have a dedicated graphics card in order for you to render your projects properly. So, if you your system does not have a GPU, a graphics card or a GPU, your system might end up using your CPU to render and it will be very slow. However, the recommended specs is a 32 gig RAM, Core i9 CPU, an RTX laptop. These are if you have them, but if you don't, you can still use this minimum specs and Funny story, this specs is actually what my computer is having right now. So I'm actually running on the minimum specs. So now let's go into downloading Blender. Downloading Blender is as easy as typing Blender 3D in Google. It will automatically take you to Blender's official website. Or you can just type in blender.org on your browser and it will take you to Blender's homepage. Once you get here, you can download from here. You can just go to the download section. Go to the download section and you can download Blender on your system. Just wait a second and it will give you an MSI package. This is the installation package for Blender. So just press save. So once you have Blender installed, all you need to do is just click on the installation package and Windows will give you a notification to install it. So follow the prompts that it brings up. Press next, accept, next, next, and install. Then wait for it to install. Okay, so it's going to bring up this prompt, press yes. If it brings up any prompt, just say yes and let it do its thing. Let it install. And the installation is done. So click on finish and you're done. So now if you go to your stats menu, you should see Blender 4.0 as one of your recently added softwares. So now you can if you are Windows, right click on this, you can um, pin this to your tax bar so it can appear somewhere here, or you can pin it to your start menu so it will appear on your start menu. So, before we go to our next video, let's talk about what happens if you have a low end computer. Let's assume maybe you try to install or you open Blender and maybe it wasn't working or some of the features are not supported by your computer, by your GPU. What do you do instead? Well, my recommendation is to download older versions of Blender. Because the software is improving every single day, newer versions are trying to use newer technologies. So as a result, if your system is older, it might not have support for these new technologies. However, older versions of Blender might still support your system. In fact, surprisingly, this version 2.7 actually ran on my mom's Pentium PC. 
um, Intel Pentium computer 2 gig RAM. So this is something that I have tried. So if you are stuck with the current version, you might need to try the older versions. Unfortunately, Blender changed their UI in 2.8. If you are trying anything earlier than 2.8, you might not be able to follow this tutorial properly. You might have to refer to older tutorials or you might have to try to convert um, the knowledge in this particular tutorial to see how it can match the older tutorials because technically the um, foundation of Blender is still the same, just that the UI is a little bit different. And also 2.8 introduced a new render engine. If you don't know what that means, we'll go into that when we enter into Blender. It introduced a new render engine called EV, which was not in earlier versions. Versions. Those are just the difference between um, the older versions and the um, newer versions of Blender. So where do you get these older versions? If you go back to the download page where you downloaded Blender from, if you go to this bar that says previous versions, click on it and um, come to this download any Blender. You will see all the older versions of Blender here right up till Blender 0.1 right up to Blender 1. So the versions that you should install are Blender 2.7, anyone here, Blender 2.8, anyone here, and Blender 3.0. Yeah, these ones here. So 3.0 or 3.1. So try to, so you just download them, test them out, find out which of them works on your current computer, and then you can proceed from there to start learning 3D. So start from there, start wherever you are, and then gradually save up or scale up or level up until you are able to get a better computer to run um, the more current versions of Blender. So don't give up just because you are using an older computer. So if you join us in our next video, I'm going to be teaching you how to navigate the software and how to create your first render in Blender. Enjoy all these premium courses in this channel for free.